Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to model, texture map and uh, rig and animate a hand like this in Blender. So we are going to look at how to do the IK hand setup and then animate and see the difference between FK and IK uh, for hand animation. So we are in Blender and in the previous tutorial we looked at how to model and text map a hand like that. If you want to follow that tutorial, you can look at the link in the description. So we will start with creating bones. I'll move the hand here where the bones will start. But you can always move the bone as well if you want. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, I will leave it like that. So, first things we are going to do is create a bone. So, we'll go to add armature single bone. Okay, and you can see that the bone is added. If you go to the object data properties here, we need to make it in front and turn the name on. And you can see it's called bone. So, we'll find it and rename it as upper arm. And then we need to move tab to go to edit mode and we need to place it at the rift. I'll go to the front view and make sure it is in the middle of the rest and go to the top view and make sure it is in the right place. Okay. So this bone we can subdivide. And once we subdivide, we get lower arm. And then we want to make sure that there is a slight bend if this is the elbow. Okay. So from here, we will extrude a small bone and we will name this wrist. From the wrist, we will extrude a bone and that will be hand. Then the hand will be extruded for fingers. Renaming the bone is very important because we are going to use that later on. Uh, I just extruded a bone, need to find where it is. This is one, and I'm going to extrude it here and name it up to. Okay, so this is our bone setup. Make sure all the bones are inside, and now we don't need the names anymore. It is important to have the hand, uh, the wrist bone. Okay because when you move the wrist, the hand and the thumb will move with it. So again, I'll go to the top view and we will remove the name. You don't want to see the names anymore. All right, now these bones are, okay, now what we need to do is, this is important. This bone, I'm going to extrude it in the Y direction. normal global okay in one specific direction and this board is going to be called wrist pole uh, not wrist elbow elbow it's called a pole vector this bone if you go to bone properties it is not going to deform and then the other thing we want to do is we go to pop parent and we want to clear the parent so we can separate it so this is going to control where the bone uh, the wrist is going to move okay so this bone will move the wrist and we will extrude this bone and i'll move it only in the x direction and i'll move it somewhere where it can be selected 
size doesn't matter. Okay, and this I will just name it I K to be easy to understand. Again, not deforming, right click, parent, clear parent. Okay, uh, the location where it is is important, but this is what we need these two extra bones which are not going to deform. Now we will select the wrist bone and what we need to do is we need to go to pose mode now and then we will have to select the wrist all right and then we are going to add once we go in the pose mode we get these bone constraint properties and we are going to add inverse kinematics the target is armature and then the bone is IK. Okay, and if you deselect use tail, I think you are like pole target again, armature, and the bone is elbow pole. Okay, and then it flipped. Uh, so if you type in angle either plus 90 or minus 90 to move in place so now our ik bone if moved okay it moves in the direction of the pole and then the pole is going to wiggle the bone now what we need to do is when we rotate this bone our wrist should rotate so we'll select the wrist and we will add copy rotation and again we will have armature and IK and now when I rotate it rotates as well and our IK setup is now ready we can animate this character now we have to select this go to object mode again Select the hand, should select the bone, control P, automatically. Okay, and now we can go and hide in front, or we cannot do it yet. And we will just animate it like that in pose mode. If you select this IK, it's going to bend your hand. Okay, now we need to create controls. So we'll go to add mesh torus again we are going to the, the same 24 6 this can even be lower if you want 12 okay move it aside this bone we are in object mode we can be we just need this so we're going to say torus 1 Need to be in pose mode, and then we will see like Taurus one, and the scale will be one five, and the rotation will be ninety degrees. So this can be maybe. Point two small okay and then we can also make it wireframe this bone again we will use the same torus one we can go to object mode and delete this object we don't need it pose mode this object we need to scale it Five yeah. doing it in the wrong place, we have to do it in terms of shape. So the rotation is ninety degrees and it's point five. 
Point five three point three years. Then we'll make it turn wireframe. So that's all we need. We need this. And then we will have to animate the finger if you want. So we can do the same thing. Torus 1, 90 degrees, wireframe. The side can be 0.3, small, 0.6, too big, 0.5. Seems okay. And then we need this. Again, Torus. And in the rotation, I guess it's fine also 0.5. And wireframe. And then we can select this and then we can say not in front. So all we need is this. We need this. We need this. And then we need this okay and then the I guess setup for your hand is done that's about it in the next class we will create the animation thank you very much